What is going on, guys? Roma the Roamer here. You know what's going on. Tonight, we are going to break down another secret for using Facebook Marketplace to source books. Last night, I kind of held it over you guys' head. I wasn't really uh, telling you guys exactly what the secret was, but now you guys know the secret to sourcing high dollar textbooks is Facebook Marketplace. So tonight, we're going to take it to the next level. We're going to get a little bit grittier with this. And this is actually how I started selling books. It wasn't Facebook Marketplace, but at the very end, I'm going to break down another technique that kind of coincides with Facebook Marketplace. And this is, this is how I got started. And there's so much traffic potential for really high dollar profitable books. And not a lot of people are doing this. And just like the nature of the, the hustle, um, not a lot of people can do this simultaneously until this YouTube video is public. And you guys see how many people have watched this video if you're not watching this video live right now. And that's how many people you're competing with. I'm sorry, I, pu I put it out there so now everybody knows. So without further ado, let's get into this. Comment where you're from, by the way, so I can destroy your city because we're gonna be doing uh, some, some live uh, sourcing. I'm gonna go on facebook.com and I'm gonna source live while you guys follow me along. So I made a little PowerPoint for you guys. Check this out. Check this out, baby. We got a Canadian in here. Okay. So there's two techniques and they're both legal, but they can get sketchy. And if the wrong person watches this video, these techniques can get sketchy fast. So make sure you're ethical, make sure you're being upfront with people when you're using these techniques, don't screw people over because there's hundred dollar textbooks out there to be had. We just have to get them ethically. Uh, so get more profitable books, baby. That's, that's why we're here uh, with less competition. So get up to date books with high demand on Amazon and Unlike online arbitrage, which I'm going to be covering tomorrow night, uh, these techniques allow us to constantly, consistently get up-to-date books. We're not going to be getting books that are old or that don't have uh, really good demand. The, the books that we get, you could not know much about selling books on Amazon, and you could do this hustle just because by doing this hustle, you are surrounding yourself with very – high demand books or in circulation books. These books are in circulation at colleges on college campuses. So in categories itself for massive profit. So this is really important. It's one thing to get books that, you know, are a certain category. Maybe they're more likely to tank. I think things like gender studies and these really kind of like wishy washy subjects aren't going to hold their value long term. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think things like chemistry, law, uh, engineering, these types of books are going to be hold their value over time. So excuse my mentee's language. He's going to get my channel demonetized. But uh, I actually told him about that hustle I introduced to you guys last night. And I'll link that other hustle below. The, just the raw Facebook marketplace hustle where you get people to ship you their books. Uh, he just got 10 textbooks and they're all 150 to $200. So 150 to $200 for books. I don't know how much he paid for them. I don't know if he paid for them up front. Uh, I recommend you don't pay for them until they actually arrive at your house. Uh, that's probably what he did. But this is just to show you guys, this is real. I'm not blowing smoke. So for those of you that have been around for a while, you know me, Roamer the Roamer. You've seen me on my journey traveling in my car. And now you see me living here in Miami. Check out this view. I live on a giant stack of textbooks. Stacked all my textbooks up and now I'm on the 48th floor of, of a bunch of textbooks. So for those of you that know me, go ahead and like this video, uh, help out the algorithm. Algorithm hasn't been too nice to me. And for those of you that are watching this, wait till the end and if you enjoy this content, if you enjoy what I'm about to tell you, go ahead and like that video as well. So should I be PG or not? Honestly, I don't really give a shit what you guys say, but I would like to know. I always hear people out. I've had like five or six people comment on my YouTube channel and about 500 to 600 people comment on my Instagram post saying that I should be PG. 
I'm already, guys, you know, I'm already the most traveled bookseller in the community. And as of two days ago, I'm the smartest bookseller because I got my IQ tested. Do I really have to be PG? Almost all the other booksellers are PG. Don't you guys want something? Some, yeah, just, don't you guys want some fun? Let me know. It might be better for YouTube um, analytics, but we'll see. Um, by the way, I have a course that's coming out. I'm about to get to the technique in a second. But in this course, I'm going to go over advanced sourcing techniques just like this. Um, techniques to scale, more importantly, techniques to delegate. Um, secrets from multiple mentors of mine, both public and non-public. You guys know that Caleb Roth is one of my mentors and uh, Reezy Resells and Rake and Profit. I live with him. But even I have uh, private mentors as well who aren't super uh, – they're not super public about their business, but they do have massive businesses and I've learned a lot from them. So I've taken everything that, you know, maybe they told me, don't throw this out on YouTube and that's going to be in the course. And the course is really just a curated place for all of my content. So I put, I put guys, I put a lot out there. Just go through my channel and you'll see so much value that I just dropped for free. Same with Instagram. I think out loud. So I like doing whatever I'm doing. I like just thinking out loud and I like posting it. So that just provides value for you guys because it's actually things I'm doing. And I, like most of my stuff is free, but this is a cur curated place where you can access all my content in a very organized place. You guys can, can tell I've been more organized lately because now I'm making PowerPoint presentations on YouTube. This is something I would never do before, but I've literally, I've made over 70 videos for this course. So I'm very like linear thinking right now. So it's good. Uh, so click on the link below after this video or during, if you want to go check that out and step your book game up. Link is in the description. So what is this marvelous technique? You guys already know about the Facebook marketplace hustle. This technique is within Facebook Marketplace and ex it extends to outside of Facebook Marketplace. So what, what we're gonna be doing is joining niche college Facebook groups, okay? We're gonna be actually be joining these college Facebook groups and we're gonna be looking for, it's really good to find the class of groups. So here's me infiltrating my way into one of these Facebook groups. So Vanderbilt class of 2022, feel free to go in this Facebook group and try to hustle some books yourself. But you can see I posted back then, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this a little bit better than me. I already have some arrows in my back. I already know what to do uh, or what not to do rather because I've already made these mistakes. But you can see what I put was, for those of you interested in having me sell your books on Amazon, please read the instructions below. When I sell books on consignment, it's a 50-50 split on net profit. So you guys can go the consignment route. You guys know that I love consignment because I run restricted inventory.com. I got to put this out there real quick. I made this little uh, intro for restricted inventory.com, but it's a business where I sell your inventory 50, 50 split net profits, popular textbooks, CDs, DVDs, anything you can't sell on Amazon. Check this out. Grind hard. Well done, sir. And welcome to the freaking well show. And that's actually one of my friends who does that rap song. But you guys know I love consignment and consignment, especially in these hard times, it's a great way to get inventory and not spend a lot of money up front. It's a, it's a way to get inventory, not spend money up front. And then when the inventory sells, if the inventory sells, that's when you pay for it. You pay 50 percent of net profits. And uh, students didn't really resonate too well with this. It's a much harder sell than it is to sell resellers on this, but you can do it. Um, that's when it comes, it's super important to have like a Facebook page with testimonials showing you're legit because nobody wants to send you inventory if they don't know, uh, if you're for sure going to pay them when it sells. So the alternative is, and I was really breaking this down last night. Again, that video is going to be in the description below for everyone watching this right now. Uh, not live. There's, um, I, I really broke down how you want to pay for the book up front and you want to wait until the book gets to you. So you want to you want to pay for the shipping, provide them the PDF shipping label that we generate through PayPal.com. Just type in how to make a shipping label via PayPal, print that label, give it to them. And then when they ship the, um, the item to us, what we're going to do when they ship the book to us, we're going to pay them when it arrives. So that's what I recommend doing. And uh, you're going to get more sales that way than than proposing consignment. So I have found that law groups tend to be pretty engaging among all the groups uh, for whatever reason. I think it's because 
they're kind of going through school together. It's not like the gen ed groups or just the, the vague class of groups. Uh, it's they know that the people below them are going to need the same books that they needed. So in these groups, if you join these groups and set notifications for when that school, uh, when when the school is going to be over for like when is their when is their finals week? That's what you want to know. And you, if you go in that group, you'll see tons of people posting, you know, law books, stacks of them, and these things sell like crazy. So look for these class of groups. So class of what was this? Um, law class of 2022. Um, you, obviously, you want to be with. Uh, more recent years so you don't want to be like class of 2018 nobody's going to be in there so you want to make sure it's it's class of 2022 2023 2024 and uh what you can do so you can just kind of cherry pick throughout the group but you can also make a post that says you are looking to purchase books if anyone has them because you have a small book business on the side you do not want to be sneaky about this you will get your facebook account shut down people will call you out if you're if you're just being weird and you don't admit that you're going to resell these books on amazon resell i don't like the word resell it just kind of sounds trashy to me it just sounds like you're taking something that someone didn't know the value of this of this item and you're reselling it for more so like you're like haha i got you i don't like that word resell um, I like to say that I run a small book business because that's what I do. And I'm providing value for them in the sense that I'm purchasing their book up front and I'm providing value for the customer because I'm selling them the book. I'm providing value for me and my employees because we're generating money as a small business. And that's what small businesses do, guys. Small businesses make money. So don't be ashamed of that. Don't be ashamed. Don't be all weird about it uh, because if you're weird about it, they're not going to like you and they're going to be like, he's taking the books all for himself. He, he knows where to sell, blah, blah, blah. Just like, yeah, uh, I sell them on Amazon. Um, even selling on Amazon, I don't like that because uh, it just sounds like – it sounds easy. Selling on Amazon just sounds easy. So like say – I like to say I run a small book business online and if they, if they dig a little deeper, uh, yeah, I tell them I sell on Amazon. So at the end of the semester – uh, and the start of the semester, you want to check these groups. And I'm sure if you join these groups, you can kind of become known as a book person if you treat them right. If you pay for their books, you know, they're going to tell their friends. You could even say, hey, look, if you tell your friends, I'll give you five bucks. If you tell your friends and your friends come to me, I'll give you five dollars for every friend that comes comes to me. We got to learn from affiliate marketing, guys. We got to learn from these apps that are like refer to a friend for five dollars. We can do the same thing. We can do the same exact thing. One of my mentors, I'm going to call him my mentor, Jim Rohn. He, uh, he's dead now, but he's on YouTube. Type in Jim Rohn. He's all over YouTube. He says, you get paid based on the value that you bring to the marketplace. So bring more value, guys. You can bring more value with this hustle by just being nice, by paying them $5 for referring their friends, by really building a business you guys want to build a customer list. That's one of the number one rules of business. Get a list of people that you can sell to time and time again. You, you want to have a list of these students, hundreds of students that you can message at the end of the semester and be like, hey, look, um, I know the semester is about to be over for you. Uh, do you have any textbooks you'd like to monetize? Boom. Now, you, now you've built something. Now you're not just hustling all the time. Now you've built something. So um, that's food for thought. Just think about that, guys. Jim Rohn, great guy to listen to. Go check him out as well. So uh, the secret number two, I told you guys this is how I started selling books on Amazon, is using campus apps. Now, I'll take credit for this. I'm going to say I was an entre entrepreneurial, not genius, but a natural. I don't think I'm an entrepreneur or natural. I think I just grind really hard, try a bunch of shit, find out what works and find out what doesn't. But I got lucky with this, guys. And th this is the only reason why I'm sitting here in front of you guys today uh, talking about selling books on Amazon. These campus apps. I posted in my – I went to Lindsay Wilson College in the middle of nowhere in Kentucky. And I posted in that campus app, which had about 1,500 people in it. I said, hey, look, I'm in dorm number 213, um, whatever building I was in at the time. 
if you guys want to bring me bring me your textbooks, I will pay you cash right now. So what I did was whenever uh, whenever I posted that, I sat in my dorm room. I think I was drinking beer at the time. I was sitting there just drinking beer, and people were bringing me massive amounts of textbooks. And that's when I was like, oh shit, I got to find out how to ship this in. Like I don't even know how to how to really send a whole FBA shipment in. I used to just send it directly to the customer, merchant fulfilled. So I'm getting literally hundreds of textbooks coming in. And it was all because of the volume from this app. It was because the attention, kids' eyes were on the app. So you guys should always be thinking that when you're trying to hustle books, think of when you're putting an ad out there, how many people are gonna see that ad? And more importantly, out of the people that see that ad, how many of them are actually gonna convert to a real client, to a real customer? So um, how do we use Facebook uh, ads, not Facebook ads, you guys can tell I've been running Facebook ads recently <laughs> for my course. Um, campus apps. How do we use campus apps? How can we get access to these campus apps uh, if we're not students at school? So if you're a student at a school, download your campus app immediately and start posting in it. If you're not a student and you're still young enough to have college friends, ask your college friends, like, hey, can you post in this app for me? I'll give you five bucks. Trust me, guys, that five bucks is going to come back to you a hundredfold for doing this. Make sure you're actually somewhere on campus if you're going to be doing this um, because it's going to be a little bit harder to convince these kids to ship you the books. You could try to get them to ship you the books through the app. I've never tried that before, but it's nice when you're actually on campus. I take that back. You could get the kids to ship you the books. You just got to start a conversation first. Um, and another option, and this is the route that I go, is you talk to kids who you've already successfully purchased books from. They like you. They know you as the book guy. They, uh, you guys, you guys have built a relationship. You don't want to go to a random student and ask them to post in an app. So with that student that you've developed this relationship with, you want to maybe you've just it's virtual. It's virtual. Maybe it's just via Facebook. You want to message them and be like, Hey, look, uh, I noticed that this college that you go to, whether it's Vanderbilt or Harvard, I don't know what, where you're trying to hustle books. You don't, you can't, you don't have to just hustle books at Ivy League schools, but you would ask them, I saw that Vanderbilt has a campus app. Would you be willing to post this message? I write a short message and uh, post it for me. And that message can be, hey, email me. That message can be, uh, meet me in the quad. Meet me, maybe if, I don't know, you can, some, some places you can pay to get in the cafeteria. Um, some, campuses will just let you go on campus and walk around so you could like literally do like a mini textbook buyback if you time it right but um guys that's how i started selling books and there's so much potential with using campus apps i'm gonna get in some q a here and then end it for the night i've literally been working all day long um in my room here i've just been sitting here working checking emails grinding making standard operating procedures for my team so uh, I'm ready for this to, to be over. Let's see what we got here. We got Jeffrey Baker saying he's from Connecticut. Got another Connecticut person in here. Got a Long Islander in the house, Dearborn Heights. Oh yeah, I did tell you guys that we would be doing uh, some, some live Facebook sourcing. So just know that this hustle does take time. Uh, it's not something that's gonna happen like the same day, but it can happen over a week or two. So first, this is the first step. Before I answer the rest of these questions, I'm going to uh, open up Facebook. I'm going to show you guys how to go through this step by step. So go ahead and ask all the questions you guys want to, and I'm going to blaze through them in a second. Okay, here we go, baby. Let's get into this. All right. So... You can type in, really type in the colleges near you first. So I'm going to type in Miami. Miami Dade class of, let's see what comes up from that. University of Miami class 2022. That's exactly what we want. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to join the group. I'm going to join the group as, oh, I could join the group as a page. That is super Interesting. I'm going to join the group as my page. Avery will buy your books. It's one of my pages I use. 
Okay, so Avery will buy your books has just requested to join this group. Now, if you go back, let's look at uh, that law group that I was showing you guys. So Vanderbilt Law of 2022. Now this campus was directly across from the Starbucks I used to work at. I used to work in the Starbucks, not at the Starbucks. I used to do online arbitrage, just building my business in the Starbucks. So what I would do is I would go work at that Starbucks and I would post in this app or in this Facebook group and I'd be like, hey, if you guys uh, have books, I will buy them from you. So let's type in law books and see what comes up. Hello, I got books that deserve to be read, blah, blah, blah. She's got $50 or best offer, or he's got $50 or best offer. Side note, whenever they say or best offer, that means I am willing to go cheaper. Please bid lower than whatever my original price was. So with all these, what I would do is add them all up together and offer less. <laughs> but uh, if you guys watch that video, I'll link it below. I go over how to quote these books. So uh, we use a couple of different techniques, but essentially it's 25% of the lowest price on Amazon, or we piggyback, we piggyback off of softwares that have already invested thousands of dollars in making the decision how much are they going to pay for books. Softwares from big buyback companies, we piggyback off of those and we make our decisions that way. So you guys can see in these Facebook groups, kids are just posting their books. Maybe they don't know about Facebook Marketplace. Maybe they think that they can only sell it in the Facebook group. Whatever the case is, you can be their savior. You can come in and be like, hey, look, dude, I'll take these books off your hands. I'll purchase them for X amount. All right, guys, we got 26 people in the house. Let's see what, what questions we got. How are you guys doing during quarantine? How is your mental state right now? Are you guys growing your businesses? Are you guys working out? I've been salsa dancing a lot by myself, unfortunately. Uh, someone says rated R. Keep it rated R. Hey, don't push me, man. You do not want to push me. Junkman says, hey, what's up? Junkman always coming in. Much love, man. Islander saying curse. Well, shit, if you say so. Raking Profit saying smash that like button. You can go smash that like button. You can lightly tap that like button. You can roam on over to that like button. We got 26 people in here. I don't know how many people have liked this video yet, but it better be 26 or I'm going to be pissed. Miami in the house. That's right, baby. Rake and Profit is my roommate, always coming in, supporting. He's got a massive YouTube channel. He's one of my mentors. If you guys don't know who he is, uh, go check him out. Uh, do you scan it right in front of them? based on how much you pay them. Well, the thing is you already know through the app, right? You already know through the either Facebook group or you've already seen the picture of the book online. So go back and watch that other video of mine. I'll link it in the description below, but I go over full circle how to quote these textbooks, but essentially it's 25% of lowest price. But if they bring me books and I have not quoted them online yet, yeah, I'll just open my app and I'll just pretend like I'm doing some crazy math and then I'll be like, hey, look, like this is the price. I started my book selling illegally. I'm still in high school, but last year I started, I started my high school, dumped a bunch of textbooks in a bin to be recycled. Well, dude, if they're already being recycled, you didn't steal them all. You, uh, you prevented them from going to a recycling center, which isn't the worst thing a book could do. It could go in the trash. But uh, I wouldn't even consider that stealing, man. Que pasa, taquito? Do you guys think I speak Spanish? Based on those three words, do you guys think I speak Spanish or not? The way I said them. When buying textbooks up front, say you put it in a Scout IQ to get the value. Okay. What percent of the profit do you offer them up front? I don't. I don't offer them a percent of the profit. I offer them a percent of the sales price. So let's pretend, um, let's pretend this is Scott IQ right here. So I'll take this question off the screen real quick. You guys know what Scott IQ looks like. Actually, I might have a picture of Scott IQ on here. Let me check for you guys real quick. Scout IQ. I have a presentation for Scott IQ. Let me pull this up. 
So I'm going to break this down for you guys because I know a lot of you guys are going to be using Scott IQ to quote. So that's a very good question. Okay. Check out my screen real quick, guys. And so this is this is what Scott IQ is going to look like. Let's see if I can get this a little bit bigger. This is an extremely distorted Scott IQ. So if you're looking at it, I'm going to make it normal again. So if you're looking at it here, um, the profit's $98 for this book. So what would I offer for this book? I'm going to take 25% of this price. So whatever this price is in the top left corner, I'm taking 25% of that. The reason why I'm doing that, that's the safest way to do it. If you give a percent of the profit, you got to realize Scout IQ um, is an app to make you money. That app is, it's made to make you money. So Scout IQ knows that you can sell the book FBA for massive profits. And so by selling a book FBA, that um, it's going to bring the price, the profit way higher than if you sold it merchant. So we always want to go off of a low merchant because sometimes there's crazy prime bumps. It might say the book's going to make you 120 profit, but the low merchant price is only $20. So if the low merchant price is only $20, that means the lowest used price on Amazon is $20. Why would you pay more than $20 if you could go on Amazon, which we're going to talk about tomorrow night. We're going to talk about this technique. But if you can go on Amazon and purchase it for $20 and sell it FBA for like 140 and make a hundred bucks, if the price is $20 on Amazon, why would you pay a student more for that? So that's why we don't give, uh, we don't get percent of profits on Scout IQ. We always, always go low merchant. That's the way you're going to protect yourself. So make sure you guys do that. Katie Morgan coming in the house. He, uh, or she is, she's answering some questions. So many colleges shut down right now. Beautiful opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that aren't able to go sell their books back to the bookstore. So you can be the bookstore. Oh, you sometimes you got to dig a little bit. There's a, there's a hustlers out there. There's those kids that know how to hustle and, and maybe they saw Gary V post and they know Facebook marketplace is the place to sell stuff. So they're going on Facebook marketplace. But there's kids that have no, there's kids that aren't even thinking, I have $100 textbooks, I should sell them. There's kids that don't even think about that at all. So how do you get to those kids? You get to those kids through campus apps, through Facebook groups. That's, that's what we just talked about right now. Um, and there's other techniques too. <laughs> Katie saying, you absolutely do not speak Spanish. Hey, I don't speak Spanish, but I dance Spanish. Yeah, it wasn't illegal. He's a hero for saving those books. Damn right. Well, if you guys thought that that uh, content was valuable, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell. I'm going to be dropping massive value over the next couple weeks, over the next couple years. So make sure that you are subscribed. If you guys have not already checked out my, my course, um, if you guys are on the wait list below, sign up for the wait list. My course is dropping in like two days. So make sure you're on that. Even if you guys don't want to buy the course, at least get on the wait list so you can have the option to buy it. I mean, if you guys, let's think about this. If you guys can flip a couple hundred dollar textbooks, that's going to pay for the price of the course. Right now, the price of the course is $297. It's only going to go up over time. $297 is the price right now, and we might raise that to $497 or even, even higher, especially as we continue to add like more not niche, but not secret necessarily, but secret in a way, but this very like sensitive information to the course. So you guys are going to be in there for that. Um, much love guys. Peace out. Like comment, subscribe, dislike, do what you guys got to do.